All right, guys, I am here. This is Gary from Stripwell again, but you know that. Um, just wanted to show you, these are four Paul Macabre sliding doors. These are the grass cloth doors. Uh, they've been painted over time, which is very common. If you work with Macabre, you, I'm sure, are aware that these often get painted. You've also probably painted them if you work with them, if you, uh, you know, need to make them look fresh. So this is white and black, and what we're gonna try to do is cut through this paint and clean up the grass cloth and preserve uh, whatever we can so that we can do a nice restoration on these doors. Um, so we're gonna see what QCS does today on this white paint and this black paint. I'm not sure what kind of paint it is. This black paint seems more like an oil paint. Uh, the white might be a latex, so I, my guess is the white is going to strip uh, quicker than the black, but let's find out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start to coat the uh, coat the doors. You can also, I get asked sometimes if this is the only way to apply QCS, and it's not the only way. You can actually apply it using like a sponge or something like a pad. Uh, you don't have to spray it on. It just, it makes it really nice to spray it on in certain cases uh, just to get nice, quick, even, you know, somewhat even coverage. Um, so you don't have to use it uh, as a spray. You can apply it with a brush or a rag or a sponge or something like that. Um, but we're just spraying it on. I'm gonna let it sit and see what uh, what it does in about 15 minutes or, or 30 minutes or so. So I just wanted to show you, I did wet these. Now I did put some QCS. It's a little hazy because the cup is just dirty, but that was the same uh, out of the same bottle that I was just spraying from. Um, I recommend, we always do recommend this, and some people have not been doing this, so I just wanna say it again, uh, that you want to, actually I wanna zoom in here actually and show you that this is actually all crazing up nicely, so that's cool. Um, that's a good sign. But uh, I, I do want to say that you want to dip and scrub. You can scrape a little bit, but on um, something like this grass cloth, you definitely want to not scrape because, you know, it's, it's a texture uh, that, you know, you don't want to gouge into. So I'd recommend scrubbing and dipping and scrubbing. But you can also apply more QCS just by using it like a sponge and just sort of moving it around and wetting everything like a sponge. You don't have to use the sprayer uh, to apply it, but the sprayer just makes it nice and quick and easy. I just want to show you in here, this is a really good sign. This is all crazing up very quickly. A lot faster than I thought it would, actually. Um, so that is really good. So it's moving across, and uh, I'm going to let that just work. I'm not going to scrub it yet because I'm a little concerned yeah, see there's some color underneath, that's cool. It's like a gold paint, that's interesting. So I'm gonna just let it sit and do its thing. All right guys, so here is, excuse the wind sound if you hear it, it's very windy out here. <laughs> um, this is uh, really good, the black is coming up. What I'm realizing is someone had actually spray painted it this bronze, look at this, it's like a bronzy color underneath, which is not original. We're trying to get to the original, which the client believed was um, a yellow, the yellow grass cloth from a cop, and um, I believe we found it. So I think that this here is the original, the original uh, yellow underneath. It probably looks a little bit gold. Let me get a towel here. Um, so there's the yellow, and I think that is what we're aiming for. So um, the nice thing with QCS is being that it's a little more gentle and a little more slow working uh, in a positive way. We're going to um, try to get this off and preserve the original yellow if we can. So let's see. All right, so there is the example of the uh, bronze color underneath the black. You can see the black's on top, then it's a bronze. Then under the bronze is this yellow. And we're almost clear of that. And we're just giving it um, just a really gentle scrubbing. It's been, it's been probably total since I started this, uh, wetting it from the very beginning, uh, 15 to 20 minutes, I would say, max at this point. Um, that's letting it soak and the scrubbing. So it's reacting really quickly on the black. Now I had thought it would react really quickly on the white, but surprisingly, it has not gone as quick on the white. So I haven't started to scrub that yet, but uh, the mo it's moving on the black really, really nicely. So I'm gonna uh, kind of keep working this gently because I'm trying to preserve the yellow which I believe is a factory color. Um, so we're gonna try for that. Okay, so there is the um, under color there, the bronze that's been scrubbed. On this side here, it's starting to cut through the yellow, uh, which I don't know if was a factory color or not. Um, thought maybe it was, but it's coming off like a paint 
and it looks kind of brushed on so I have a feeling that may have been an afterthought so I'm just gonna cut through now that it's already begun to do so and go right down to that grass cloth all right so the white is it's hard it's harder to tell but the white is starting to craze so I'm gonna go over this now with some old QCS because there's no point in using um, you know new QCS when it's all gonna get muddied up anyway and that's why I do recommend if you're able to strip something kind of in a tray or a way to capture any runoff you can reuse it for kind of your scrubbing liquid because it'll still work even if it gets dirty so uh, I'm gonna try scrubbing this with some old QCS and see uh, how this white all right so I'm just using the old QCS that I have in this old little bucket here this is all just old QCS that I've saved it's just runoff and I'm just scrubbing gently this grass fabric here this grass uh, you can see here it's cutting through nicely it's cleaning that up really nicely so I'm just gonna gently remove all this paint it's dissolving this paint this paint is more bubbling and coming off this paint is more dissolving and sort of just turning into a white mud that's hard to see your progress so you could feel the texture change as you're scrubbing you're sort of scrubbing and you feel it kind of grabbing like mud and then eventually it it, uh, it lets stops doing that and it, it you could feel the texture of the uh, of the door all right guys just wanted to show you I moved inside because it was just a little bit too sunny out and a little bit a uh, little hot I didn't want anything to happen with the uh, the uh, grass fabric um, with the sun the heat so I moved inside now here's the white um, this is coming out really nice I'm just gonna move in here you can see like where the white paint still remains and now I'm just spot treating it because like this area here is all beautiful it's right where it should be uh, but I'm just going around and just sort of like you can see some buildup in here and I'm just sort of spraying it with some fresh QCS and then scrubbing it uh, and so I'm trying to take a really slow approach to this to get these clean because they look, I mean, this looks great. If I could get this clean, then these two doors are home run for that creamy white. And the other doors, I'll show you them in a second. Okay, so I had thought that possibly the yellow that was under the surface was the original yellow. But I'm encouraged because under the yellow was a black, again, so it was black, bronze, yellow, black. And I'm seeing yellow again. And I'm really hoping that that yellow is the original factory yellow and that I can clean the, gla the, uh, the grass um, fabric up really nicely and get that yellow back. So we're gonna try, but there's a lot of colors on this. As, again, top layer was black, then a bronze like metallic spray paint, then a yellow, and then a black, and then I'm seeing yellow, and I think that's the base color. So I brought them in and put them in the trays. I'm still doing them by hand, but I just wanted to get them out of the sunlight. So I'm still treating them just like you would uh, where you are. I'm not using anything special for them. I'm still treating them exactly the same way with QCS. You may not even be able to see it in the video, so it's hard to, to show, but um, let's see if I can get it. You can kind of see, yeah, there you go. I don't know if you see there's paint in the texture. So like there, there's no paint, and there, there's paint. You see that? So that's what I'm going after now because I really want it to be nice and open. But you can see there's just these sort of blotchy areas. And I'm trying to get it to look like this. This is really original looking right here. And I'm trying to get the whole door to look like that. So this is one of those time consuming processes. But really for a restoration of a macabre piece, this is great if you can achieve getting back to the original um, without recoating it again with another color and just painting it, which is usually the easy way out. So uh, this is a great example of more of a conservation going back and kind of reviving what was there from the factory. So we're giving it a shot on these two different doors, uh, you know, two different uh, pairs, I should say, and then see what see how they come out. So I have good hopes about these. I'm not 100% sure on the others yet. Well, let's just keep going. All right, guys, here is the latest on these. These are the really thick painted doors. These are the ones that were black, bronze, yellow, black, and then I believe the factory yellow. Um, I'm not sure if I'm losing some of the yellow in the scrubbing or if um, it's just the black sort of masking over it. Uh, I haven't gone over it with clean yet. So I've just been dipping and scrubbing with old QCS and then um, there's some, some trouble spots that are just hanging on a little bit so I'm just putting a little bit more there. Uh, again, not super hard work, just takes a little bit of time and uh, QCS is gentle enough that you can kind of 
scrub and see what you're working on and slowly work it off. So it's coming out beautiful. I'm, I'm really, uh, really excited to see the final, um, the final outcome. Uh, the white doors came out really nice, very clean, um, very factory looking, so that's awesome. And now I'm just hoping to get these two uh, to be that factory yellow if it's possible. If not, oh well, but trying for it. All right, guys, I'm back with these doors. I want to show you, I've been letting them soak, and there's this um, finish that's in, I mean, it almost looks like, I can't tell if it's the clear that's just been kind of pigmented by the, here, I'll see, I'll wipe it with my finger. See that? It's like, I can't tell if that's the the clear that's just been pigmented by the, the combination of some yellow and the black or what. But what's really cool is when you let um, QCS just sit, it starts to just sort of raise it out of the detail. Um, so you can actually very easily get it. And I'm gonna go over this with steel wool now and um, just try to pull it away from the surface because once you grab it, it's gonna come out really clean. And again, I see that nice yellow under here. So that's what I'm going after. But you can see it's all crazed up and bubbling off. That's that final layer of whatever was over the yellow. And uh, I'm just gonna go after that now and get that off. All right, guys, just wanna show you, I wiped it down now with a towel, but you could still see, and this is what's tricky about trying to strip um, this material is because of the texture. You could see in here, there's some white. Do you see where the point of this uh, hook is? You could see some white. And the best thing you can do with QCS, and what makes it really easy, and especially good for this application, is just keep re-wetting it. And what that's gonna do is, see it's all in that grain, I don't know if you can see, I'll zoom in really close. See, that's all paint in there. And um, you may not get it all out, but, but you can see it's, it's in that weave. And you don't wanna scar the, uh, you don't want to mess up the, the texture and you don't want to mess up the door. So just keep wetting it and let it soak. And what it's going to do is it's going to pop that right out of the texture and then you can wipe it clean. It's already looking just so much better than it did. But I'm going to keep soaking it and just letting the QCS do the work. Now that it's wet, you can see it a little bit better. Like down here, see this area? That is paint in, in the grass weave. And what we're trying to do is get rid of that. Um, so I'm going to let that just bubble it up. I'm going to come back and show you this exact spot right here in just a little bit, but I'm going to show you what it does. It's going to crackle it up, pop it up out of the um, texture, and then it'll allow us just to sort of allow me to just wipe it away with some steel wool. And hopefully, without interfering and scratching and marring up the surface with a wire brush or anything like that, we'll be able to uh, get it nice and clean. So let's see how that goes. We'll give it, uh, give it 15 minutes or so, come back. Again, this is not a race. It's just about getting this, it's about doing the right job and doing it well. So just recoding it, walking away, coming back, scrubbing it, and so on and so forth. Eventually you'll get a really nice outcome. Meanwhile, this is the uh, the two white doors, and you can see how nice they look. The white on this, I mean, looks pretty uniform. I'm gonna wet these again now that I've cleaned them and just let the fresh QCS work and see if it pulls up any more um, paint out of the, uh, out of the texture um, of the grass. Um, the grass fabric on these doors. So I'm gonna just soak them, let them sit for a little longer, and uh, just see if it does pull any more. But overall, I'm pretty content with how those those look overall. Like those look great in a cabinet. Um, they look, they just look really good. That's how they should look. So I'm just gonna see if I can get them a little cleaner, but I'm pretty satisfied with these two. All right, guys, here's that area again that I was, I was showing you before. And it's just, release now so what's cool is I could take some steel wool which I have right here and I'm just gonna take and just work that area use some, this has some paint in it so it's gonna make it a little messy for a second and let me hit it with some QCS again and you can see there that it is pretty much gone. There's a little bit, let's see, where is it here? A little bit right in here still. Again, if I use some clean steel wool, it'll help to uh, show it better. I'll do that in one second. All right, so this is the area here. I kind of lost sight of it when I was, uh, I used a piece of steel wool that was uh, a little tired and old. So I'm gonna just take some new steel wool and see if I can't scrub this right out of there. This also <laughs> has some stuff in it too. This has some of the black. 
I'm just going to do this area. I have a clean towel, so I'll be able to show you. Let's just see what it did here. So a lot better. There's still some in there. So with this, again, patience, just sort of soak it. You can see over here, see how it's crazing up here? You can almost just wipe it right off. It's hard because it's like it, it, the paint doesn't want to release from it because it, it has something to grab into. So you really have to just kind of like be patient, let it, uh, let it pop up, and then give it a scrub. So I'm going to do that. Let it sit a little. All right. So I'm going to try actually using this little soft uh, brass bristle brush and really gently just go in here and see if I can't. Yeah, see, it's almost like you need something just to kind of grab it really gently, not hard, very, very light pressure. But that's just gonna pull it out of the uh, pull it out of the texture. Now this is actually how you would also do uh, if you were trying to get paint out of the grain of wood. I would recommend doing the same thing as using um, one of these soft bristle brushes to just gently pull it, go with the grain, and just pull it out. See how there's all that chunky white now sort of sitting on the surface? That's been pulled out of the surface now, or out of the uh, texture. So go around and kind of just do a really light scrub. You don't want to go super hard because you don't want to hurt the material, but this will pull it out and then you can wipe it away. Well, there is the final product on the white door. There's one uh, off camera that I'm gluing a little bubble down on. I'm actually just clamping it down, hoping it'll just kind of reattach itself. Uh, this one I just noticed too has a little tiny bubble right where my thumb is very subtle but it's there so I'm going to try to get a clamp on that as well um, but you can see the front looks great the back looks really good clean that up and now on to these two trying to finalize these two doors that were uh, much worse hopefully we can get those cleaned up and looking good as well um, so half of the project is done and then this uh, these two are coming along really nicely it's really the backs that I'm just focusing on now and a little bit of cleanup on the faces so uh, very close but that's really what you want to see. That's great. That's a nice original door, not painted. Um, so that's going to look great on a cabinet. All right, guys, just wanted to show you the final product on these or, or the final result on these guys here. Uh, these are the white doors that we stripped. These were the ones that were painted white uh, and we removed that paint and got to the original uh, white tone they were. Uh, so those look great. I just have a clamp on one spot where there is a little bubble. So I wanted to clamp that down. So that is uh, that looks great. And then these are the two factory yellow doors. Um, and these came out great too. I didn't know if uh, these would be salvageable, but they came out fantastic. So we were able to get all the paint off. And then we also, um, there was a little damage there. That was there before. So that's uh, that was there before we started. But anyway, that is the result of uh, QCS on these two macabre pairs. Uh, they came out really nice. This one here had like four layers of paint. And that one, those that pair had like one. So... Not too bad.